Are you ready? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am making something very seasonal. It's a Sunday. I'm filming this on a Sunday and everyone's at home and I want a lovely snack. So I'm going to make some wild garlic and onion pakoras. Now wild garlic is in season right now. This is what it looks like. I've just uh, got a little bunch of wild garlic here. Um, in India, I found that uh, they had the green garlic, not the wild garlic, because this grows in the wild, which is why it's called wild garlic. It's so garlicky, lovely. If you don't have this, then yes, if you have green garlic, use that. You could use spring onions with tons of garlic added. So it will kind of give you a similar sort of um, taste and consistency. So I'm just using a big handful of the wild garlic. Just chop it roughly. As I'm chopping it, I can smell it straight away. It's so lovely and sharp and strong. And I've just washed it so it's a bit wet. I haven't dried it out completely because there's no point. I'm going to add liquid to the mixture anyway, so you don't have to dry them out. So this is going to be our main flavor and this is going to be our crunch and texture for the pakoras. So just thinly slice them. I'm going to add all the spices. Half a teaspoon of salt. You can add a bit more if you like a bit more. A bit of chili to taste. I'm using half a teaspoon. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of garam masala. And really important, which is going to go really well with the garlicky, wild garlic, is um, half a teaspoon of carom seeds. You can skip it if you don't have it. Now, just going to mash it together so they kind of release the liquid moisture from the onions and garlic. And then I've got half a cup of gram flour or besan, uh, whatever you call it. And then I've got very little uh, rice flour left in my bowl. So I'm just going to take that. If you don't have rice flour, you can skip it. That's three tablespoons of rice flour. And that's going to make it super crunchy. I just need a tiniest little bit of more of um, gram flour. And the liquid from the garlic and onions is already binding it together. I'm just going to add a tablespoon of water. I want to taste the wild garlic and I don't want to lose the flavor in the gram flour. So don't add too much of it. Just enough to coat it and bind it into some like some form of a paste. Like I think there's not enough flour. So I've now added a total of a cup of flour. That's better. It should be able to form like chunks of it. There you go. That is perfect. I'm going to take it to the hop to fry. So I'm just going to fry it some sunflower oil. Um, you could use any kind of oil you usually use for deep frying. It's nothing specific. That's what I have always used. Um, I'm just going to let it heat up. Now, what's the best combination, the best pairing with piping hot pakoras? Masala chai. So in here, I'm going to prepare a couple of cups of masala chai. Just going to get um, some fresh ginger in a pan of hot water. And I'm going to add some couple of... Um, 
uh, cardamom pods in it just open it up so the seeds can release the flavor let it simmer while the oil is getting hot our chai will be ready at the same time a few cloves of um, cloves and just gonna add I want it really nice and spicy so just gonna add a couple of peppercorns I'm gonna let this simmer I'm gonna get my attention back to the pakora so here is a lovely mix look it's not wet it's not dry it's in clumps which means it's perfect to form pakoras this will not take long to cook at all the reason being that there isn't much of the flour so you don't need to cook out the flour and the uh, garlic leaves are really delicate so I'm going to turn it to medium because it's really nice and hot and then these will just cook like quickly So this chai is for two people, so I'm going to add two teaspoons of uh, sugar and also have got just normal strong black tea bags. I'm just going to let this simmer. This is looking lovely and ready to be turned over. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes. These are looking fantastic and they're ready to come out as well. Look at that. That's the pakoras getting ready and that's the chai ready. Look, it's looking um, lovely brewed really dark and strong it's time to add some milk make sure you add a little at a time if you add too much i don't like very milky i want it nice and strong and i'm gonna bring this to a boil and once it comes to a boil turn the heat off and then strain this And here they are, wild garlic, onion, pakoras with piping hot chai. This really is a heavenly combination. This, my friends, is the ultimate comfort food um the best snack this combination of piping hot pakoras with masala chai is something if you haven't tried before then you absolutely must ready in literally 10 minutes we made the chai and the pakoras and the whole kitchen smells garlicky which is brilliant It's unbelievable. It's so flavorful, so intense. The garlic, wild garlic is coming through. The onions provide the crunch. The very light sprinkling of flour makes it very light and not very heavy. I really hope you will give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you back very soon with another recipe. I'm going to 
say bye and enjoy my chai and pakoras before they get cold. Bye for now. Mm.